Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with miso maple glazed salmon. We've done miso glazed fish, we've done maple glazed fish, but we've never done miso and maple glazed fish. And of course, super easy seafood recipes are one of the most popular food wishes of all time. And it doesn't get much easier than this, so check it out. Okay, to make the glaze, we're gonna take some miso paste, which I believe is fermented soybeans. This one is called a light yellow miso paste. So most of your larger, fancier grocery stores will carry that. Not that hard to find. To that, I'm gonna add some seasoned rice vinegar, some hot sauce, I'm using shiratsa, and for the sweetness, some maple syrup. And that's it. Like I said, this is a super extremely easy recipe. So here we have maybe the world's first Canadian Japanese fusion dish. So that's pretty exciting. All right, we're gonna mix that together. Now, you know what? This took me about 20 minutes because I was so stubborn, I refused to switch to a whisk because I had already dirtied the spoon. So I kept stirring and stirring and stirring. And finally, it was smooth. But if you use a whisk, that'll take like a couple seconds. So we're gonna set that aside and it's onto the salmon in a cold saute pan, something with a metal handle. We have to be able to put this under the broiler. I'm gonna take a little bit of vegetable oil and brush it in the bottom. I'm gonna put my salmon fillets right on top. The skin is on that salmon. So skin side down in the pan, heat goes on medium, and we're gonna start searing that from the bottom up. Now I know what you're thinking, why would you start it in a cold pan? Isn't the skin gonna stick? Yes it is, we want it to stick. You're gonna see what happens later. This is a really cool trick, okay? So that's one reason we're doing it this way. The other reason is because we're gonna broil this from the top I wanna give the bottom a little head start. Okay, so as soon as that skin starts to sizzle and it looks like that, that's all you need. So that looks good. I'm gonna turn the heat off and I'm gonna paint on the glaze. Now that looks like it's still frying because the pan retained the heat, but the heat is off at this point. Now we want most of the glaze on the top surface, but if you want, you can put a little bit on the sides, but you don't want a whole bunch running into the pan. So how much goes on here? I don't know. A couple tablespoons, whatever it takes to cover. All right, so that's looking good. That's gonna go under a hot broiler. My broiler is set on high. I'm approximately seven inches under the heat. So you're gonna have to play this by ear, but you know what, you can figure it out. With that little head start we had by heating the pan from the bottom, mine took about eight minutes or so, but basically it's done when the salmon is just cooked through and the top is lightly browned. Look at that, so pretty. Now, as far as serving goes, remember the skin was on there, but we started it in the cold pan. So that skin should be stuck to the pan. And if we take a spatula and go right underneath the flesh, it will separate so easily and you will be able to pull it right off. And it's just such a cool way to do it because you get that extra flavor and moisture from the skin. And yet you don't have to worry about trying to cut it off or peel it off, it just works great. All right, so we're gonna serve that up with some asparagus and lemon. Look at that asparagus side dish. Talk about just phoning it in. All right, here we go, time to taste. Look at that moist, succulent, glistening salmon. Just so beautiful. The saltiness from the miso, the tanginess from the vinegar, that earthy sweetness from the maple syrup. What a great combination with an ultra simple way to cook fish. This is dedicated to you people that keep insisting you can't cook fish. Uh, you can't. So exactly what part of this didn't look like you could do it? It was pretty easy if you ask me. So I hope you give this a try. Go to foodwishes.com for all the ingredients and more information, as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.